What's going on, folks? Razor MP here, back with another review just for you. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Scottsdale Tactical, repping their shirt today. Picked up this Garmin uh, chronograph over there. They always take really good care of me, treat me like what rocks are. So, shout out to uh, those guys over there. Also, uh, uh, picked up this particular pistol at Scottsdale Gun Club. Parker's always uh, my go to man over there, along with Jake, Joey. Uh, and the rest of the team over there. So uh, really do appreciate their help. But anyway, we're back here with another review. Today we're headed to Europe. Well, I'm not actually going to Europe, uh, but uh, we're going to check out a Slovakian pistol, specifically the Grand Power Excalibur. So let's get to it. Get ready to witness pure performance and precision with this Grand Power Excalibur. The pistol isn't just an un another firearm, it's a masterpiece of engineering and design. One of the coolest features about, about this Grand Power Excalibur MK23 is not just the cool serrations that you see on the slide or the ambidextrous safety or ambidextrous slide release the very pronounced magazine drop and look that thing is huge and has a really awkward angle but feels good when you put it place it down and use it as a thumb rest but uh, I think one of the coolest features is that rotating bolt but enough talk let's see this beast in action we're hitting the range to see how the Excalibur performs under pressure. This was my first shots with the Excalibur. And as you can see, there was very little muzzle flip. It was actually my first time shooting with the Defender Red Dot as well, but I found the combination to help me find center mass quickly. The trigger has a surprising release. It's not a crisp break, more of a smooth release as you pull through the trigger. This right here is with the uh, Excalibur. Just need to adjust the red dot. Just... For this iteration, I applied more downward pressure on the thumb safety with even better results. I would considered swapping them out for the included flattened safeties, but I think I'll keep it as is. Okay, the last three shots. Landed right there. And let me tell you folks, the Excalibur doesn't disappoint. With its smooth trigger pull and minimal recoil, it's a dream to shoot. I mean it, this pistol shoots amazingly well, and I was able to get a tight shot group after just a few pulls of the ridiculously light trigger. Now, let's talk features. The Excalibur is packed with innovations that set it apart from the competition. From its adjustable fiber optic sights to the rotating barrel design, this pistol is a game changer. The rotating barrel, similar not unsurprisingly to an AK-47 bolt, allows the Excalibur bolt to rotate. This helps to dissipate some of that direction, directional recoil. This particular model is almost an exact replica of the Mark 23 match pistol, less the steel frame that extends the length of the dust cover, and it's made of steel to help add that extra weight. Put a light on it like I did and that might help make up for it. Anyway, it's sheer genius. The slide looks aggressive with its skeleton cuts uh, and the polished stainless steel barrel that just glistens in the sunlight as it rotates. The newest pistol from Grand Power was made to compete. This trigger is a double action, single action trigger. 
The double action trigger broke at a steady six, six and a half pound pull, while the six, single action broke consistently around about a pound, maybe a pound and a half. That allowed me to place my red dot directly on the target while squeezing the trigger, knowing I would not have to compensate for trigger travel when just applying that pressure while I squeezed the trigger. The back straps uh, come in different sizes and are easy to install. The thumb safeties are huge. I'll be honest, they leave something to be desired aesthetically. They rotate to an almost 90 degree angle when they're on safe, but uh, you can easily camp out on the edge of those platforms like a pigeon on a windowsill. In fact, they may be too big. It's hard to reach around uh, the ambidextrous slide release without rotating your hand. At least you can't miss the protruding magazine release, not even if you tried. It sticks out like a sore thumb. The rear sight can be removed to install the red dot sight, which I did, opting for the Defender CCW from Vector. Uh, I'll drop a link in the description for it and any of the other products I used for this review. With the red dot, I was able to maintain accuracy while increasing speed. It's a very professionally made pistol, that I promise you. And when it comes to maintenance, the Excalibur is a breeze to disassemble and clean. And, uh, I'll do a disassembly video for you uh, later on. But our journey doesn't end here, folks. We want to hear from you. Drop us a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more epic reviews from yours truly. Keep shooting straight. Razor MP out.